Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Uh, uh what? What? Why? Why is it? What? That's no way to start an episode. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Wait a minute, that's not... No. Oh, uh, I wonder if he's, like, stuck in a tree somewhere. Where's that guy? Hopefully we find him somewhere else. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to say, um, the plan is... Here's, here's, here's our plan for this, this fort. Um... We are, I believe this is year five of the fort, and we're gonna we're gonna press on through here with with our population limit of of thirty five. If it is a, if it is a calm fifth year, then we're gonna crank it. Then we're gonna crank it up to eighty, maybe more than that. Actually, we will we will we will grow, um, um, and hopefully get some some action. In the fort, because right now things are moving along smoothly since we have recovered from the uh, the human uh, experience. Um, then uh, now everything is back to uh, pretty much back to normal. Is this one? Are they both closed? Oops. Did, are both of them? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, they are both closed. Why are they both closed? Mm, I don't know, but okay. Close that. How many migrants do we got? Is someone gonna close that? Don't smash the migrants. Ooh, that was close. That was way too close. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got a, we got a kid. I think he's actually is he our first kid? I think he might be. Let's see, we got five more so far. Up to thirty-one. Uh, mm, oh, there's a bunch of animals coming in, which we will surely slaughter. Uh, one thing I wanted to check, I was asked to check actually, is our refuse hauling. See, maybe that's an issue. And it looks like I mean we are a lot of our well a lot of these guys are are very new. Um, but we have a few in here. Uh, four of our, uh, newer guys. Now we have a bunch of new ones. We're also doing it. So maybe it'll catch up. And that might have been a problem, because a lot of us aren't doing refuse hauling. But I don't want to, like, distract them from other important things. We have some rather skilled folks here. We've got... Who are you? We got, um... Yeah, Gillespie has his clothes making. Very good at it. This Dobby is, um, is the tanner. We got Juan... The carpenter, and Brutes the carpenter. Brutes was, has been around since the beginning. He's a very good carpenter. Uh, anyone else uh, notable skills? We got Luke here with with the hunting. Eh. Coming handy for his his warring. Bill is our brewer, but he's not really that great in Cake Lord. Oh uh, no no. Oh is that one? Oh Juan Juan is a brewer as well. Okay. Um, so how many did we actually end up getting? We ended up with what like six more. Meditate on jewels. I do that myself sometimes. And <clears throat> we do have a corpse stockpile right here next to the butcher's shop. We could make it a little bit bigger, but these things should be getting... What are you? Are you just like a pile of bones? Troglodyte head. All right. So, I do have a few more names, though. So let's get those in there real quick while we are doing this. All right, make sure, who's the kids? We got, oh, we got two kids. Like it and Nish. And Nish or Nash. Nice. Right, where's my list? All right. So, ill roll. You are now beer murderer. Mur uh, murderer. And we have Cole. You are Kuska. And we won't name the child just yet. Um, I'm giving Isaac a dwarf because he did not ask for one. That means he gets one. <laughs> uh, oh, dang it. I did. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I always do that. Beer murderer. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Who's go? Uh oh. Uh oh. Something is happening. And Monum. Isaac. Again. Alright. Now we're good. Uh, let's take a look at what's fighting real quick. A troll. What are you doing here? This is no place for a troll. Probably don't need to call everyone, but we're going to. 
Should kill him pretty quickly, I would think. No, we're all there. Oh yeah, there's his blood. Yeah, we got him. I'd like to know what happened to Elbel. Elbel. Whatever his name was. That guy. You know, we still have lots of dead folks laying around. This is the problem with the refuse talk pound. People just aren't getting carried away. What's this? There's a giant roach in a cage out here. We got roaches in our base. So let's um, build the stockpile up a little bit. Nothing says welcome to the fort. Like a giant refuse stockpile. We're working on getting this taken care of, so we're gonna, we are going to expand our colony just a bit and make a little bit more room for... I think we'll, we'll move all these things up here and make some room for our animals to uh, to feed. Just to make them a little bit happier. Speaking of animals, do we have any... Uh, I know we have some new ones. I saw some coming in. We've got... So what's a capybara? Capybara? What is that? I don't know. Where is it? There it is. Capybara. We have a cougar? Oh, it's caged. Why is it caged? A medium semi-aquatic rodent. Lives in large herds and barks when alarmed. Really? Dark pink skin? Okay. Now, we've got... I just set some of these things to be trained. I don't think we've, we have started training anything yet. Um, but I do want to. Where's all my dogs? Where's all my dogs? Dogs are dogs. Puppies. I'm gonna make you guys available. You can you can become someone's pet. It's fine. Uh, which may do anyways. But this way, did I not put training on you? I can't do it on puppies. Where are all my dogs? Are they all named? Where are they? There's a war dog. I guess they're all right here. Okay. Lots more trash to get hauled around. Uh, let's get rid of some of these trees. So we've got a few new folks. We got we got to look at our new folks first before we get too much further. I will get names. Um. So if I do plan on bumping my folks up to eighty dwarves, I will need lots and lots of names. So um, start giving me some names. I don't care if you've already given me one. Give me give me more more names. We need like like Rose Tyler and and other folks. Luke Skywalker. So we've got Beer Murderer. Appears to be a very... Well, he's not very good. Oh, he's a singer. Oh, maybe I have a job for you in the um, in the tavern, buddy. Also an engraver, which we should do. We should certainly do soon. That's pretty much it, though. Mm, you might have just got a job in the military, Beer Murderer. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we'll look at all this, then we'll go back and look at the military skills. Kuska is a good milker. Is that, is that a good skill? Sure. Milk away. And you also are a good glazer for our new pottery business. Perhaps Kuzco will take part in that. And a boon doctor. That's good. Um, and Isaac is a talented metal crafter and a, crutch, a competent crutch walker. That's a skill. Then we have our two children here. And then Tobel is it's like just a mason, and that's pretty much it. And Ubul is a mechanic. Any of you guys any good at military? Who's fighting? What's happening? Paragon. Okay. Um, oh, Ubul has some discipline, as does Beer Murderer. Beer Murderer has to be in the military. With a name like Beer Murderer. You have to be murderer. Well, I guess you just murder, murder beer. Crutch Walker. That's, that might be a valuable skill for our military. And you're all good swimmers. Okay, well, well... So we're going to put Bill Murder in there. To... The Cyclones, I think is my new one, right? Yeah. You can go in there. Uh, we'll put Isaac in there, because he can like, walk with a crutch. Oops. Um, sure, guys, go in there. Tobel. Ubel. And then we can get one more, so might as well. 
Kuzka. There you go. Congratulations. We now have a full military squad. Not that there's any gear for them, really. Which probably will be our next thing to do. Um, let's do it this way. We want... Uh, not bronze. Copper. Copper breastplates, I suppose, would be... We need. I know we have a few of them around, but we, we're going to need some more since we got so many of these guys. Um, let's, yeah, breastplates are good. And do like, I don't know, seven of them. <clears throat> and then we're going to do some... Copper... You know, we could do copper swords. Swords are... Or copper's like lightweight and can be pointy. So I think copper makes a very good pointy weapon. Let's do like three of those... And then we'll do some copper spears. Three of those. And then copper helms. I saw it. I thought I saw it. Did I not? There it is. Eight of those. Okay. <clears throat> so we will do that. Um, we are working on making more hives, I believe. Are we? We have three more. Oh, we have those golden hives. We don't want any more golden hives. Do you not make the hives? Is it um, you? A, we make bone hives. I've looked at this. Before. I think I've looked at this before. I actually I think I've looked at that a few times. <laughs> Rock hive. Um, we're gonna do a workflow on this. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Repeat. Of any material, and sure, five to ten. Sure, we'll just have a bunch of them around, and then uh, we'll get a proper mead production going, which it is actually working properly. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with these pets. I don't know. If I do increase the the, um, the population, I may want to... Ooh, oh, rattlesnake. Um, keep some some turkeys and things around. But I don't know. They're just... Maybe I'm just going to get rid of... The, I'm thinking just get rid of the male ones. So that way we'll still get eggs. We just won't get any anything hatching. I don't have to deal with rows and rows of Pults. And is that the only turkey I have? Only uh, male turkey, anyways? Looks like it is. Okay, yeah, just slaughter that guy. He's been he's been far too busy. Looks like we're out of plump helmets again. Yeah. But we just have so much other stuff. This is a very uh very lucrative area in the uh, in the berry business. <clears throat> Plus, we have all this farming going on up here, so we've got plenty of, of things to make meat out of, or not meat, but, but alcohol out of. Plus, if we get our meat production working as as it should be, then uh, we don't need uh, the plump helmets for meat for for booze. Let's take a look at those temples we're working on. Let's throw. Planning mode, we'll put a table there and there. And we're going to build some chairs. Oops. And we need a, a container. There. And then a chest. Cabinet, that is. There. And then um, we can go ahead, we'll let them get the things moved in, and then we'll turn them into proper uh, temples. Let's take a look at our folks here. Uh, Glesby is praying to Daylor right now. Don't bother trying to play on my emotions. He was enraptured after communing with Daylor, or a dealer. Being away from family and friends for too long, and easy being able to acquire something for too long. Maybe I should like... The lack of decent meals for too long. What is the deal with lack of decent meals? What is the wrong? What is the wrong with that? Where's my kitchen? So we've got plenty of fish. You're spinning thread. Is there more things you should be doing? Maybe you can. Can you make? Can you milk? 
milk them, yeah, just milk them as much as you can. Make cheese as much as you can, and then shear them. I don't know if we have anything that we can shear, but do it. And then spin those threads. If there's things to do, then do them. Um, still doing things, we're still making lots of mead. Um, you're rending fat. Fine meals is what we've got set at. Why is there a lack of fine meals? What is up with that? So folks are coming here to eat. Maybe there's no fine meals in here? And they're just grabbing whatever's nearby? How do I make a stockpile where I only have fine meals in it? Can we do that? Can we just like throw a couple barrels of food here and then customize? <clears throat> so we're gonna do, we want no meat, no fish, see like a proper like just a meal do we not have just am i missing it it wouldn't be finished goods it'd be food mmm paste drink plants cheese animals oh you know what Sure. Plant cheese? Um, I guess we'll do meat. Um, and we can put some eggs in there. I don't know. How to do it. I don't know. Oh. It wouldn't be in here. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what they put in there. Um, I, I mean, there's tower caps. Turkey, there's eggs in there. There's fish in that one. Lots of fish. I don't know what they're, what they're whining about. We have... This is looking good. We never built our, um, our armor stand. Let's make... Let's make a golden one. Everything... Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're actually making... Oh, well, we made, made one. We made one. Like a gold armor stand. One. We'll throw that over there, and that'll make him quite happy. And we do have more dwarves, so we're going to throw in a few more beds. We'll have to get this um, grown quite a bit once we uh, expand, if we get to that point. And we have been searching tirelessly for something more than just copper. We haven't found it. Oh, who's having puppies? No more puppies. That's a troll blood. Let's see. We dug out... Where was the last one we dug? I think it was like right in... Right in here somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, look at all the troglodytes. Oh, look at them all. Ooh. Rattlesnake way down here. How is the uh, the new military's uh, gear looking? The Cobalt Cyclones. Um, mm, mm. We have a couple of folks that have nothing. Kuska and Ubel are lacking. Everyone else has something. So yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go use them. Just hope, don't send Kuska in there first. Or kill the snake. What's the worst that could happen? The snake that's uh, over here living in the haunted biome. Who do we have? Beer murderer. He's geared. Sun Ike. Kuska. Kuska apparently is carrying a barrel of water buffalo's milk. <laughs> no, you know, even when you're thirsty. That's cool though, we have milk, which means we, we will be making cheese. That is cool. 
Yeah, we could have been making that a long time ago, I think. Oh, what do we strike? Milk quartz. Where? All right. Good job, Jimmy. Dig away, Jimmy. Uh, did we get all this done? Oh, I think we did. Why is there a bookcase laying out here? What? what? Really? Why is that? All right. So I think what we should do is we should just go. Uh, whoops. Go straight to here using um, dolomite blocks, preferably. And then we can go back out to here. And then we got to clean up something a little bit. Clean up these ramps here. And then we'll basically, this will all be base, basically underneath here. We'll, we'll, we'll do a floor to cover the holes, of course. But other than that, this will all be inside uh, the mountain here. Like a true dwarf. You get rid of that tree. Why is there a pick outside? Pick up your picks! Walls are getting done quickly. Uh, why didn't this one get done? I'll get there eventually. Alright, so the new temples are going to be... Meeting area, location, add location, temple. We can do no specific. Uh, we got Nadmi has one worshipper. Who has more? The Cave of Sparks has five. Seven for dealer. Zazgim, yes. Um, um, Neural for equal matches. Oh, Luxuries of quies Quiescence. That's ten. Let's that one. That's we had that one in our uh, our last fort. Chapel of Embraces, cool. And then we're gonna do one here also. And add another one, another temple. Okay, Utul Seasons. Let's see what um, before we do this. Let's let's check something out. Who um so our expedition leader is Adenek. We're gonna see what does he think. Who's his deity? Casual worshipper of Kazazgim Camp Cake. Okay, good, good. It should be nothing less than Zazgim. Zazgim clearly is the one true deity in this fort, but we allow others to hang around, you know, because we're we're friendly like that. Not friendly to anyone, not. Dwarf, but <laughs> a few folks were friendly too. So we could do no specific. Let's do that. I suppose anyone else can sort of hang out in there. Like, you know, if you don't follow the other guys, then there's a spot for you. Go hang out in there somewhere. <laughs> Apparently, the dogs really like this uh, D Deedum guy because they're all in here. And we could make a statue of each of them. Trollrelay is fighting a what? A war dog? Yep. Look at, all the, look at all the dead troglodytes right here. So many of them. I think I need to call the military in to do a troglodyte sweep. So we'll do that. We'll do that next time. I'm going to put a cut here. So thank you for watching. Next time we'll clean up the troglodytes. We will get our walls completed. Should be able to anyways. Um, and we're going to push back some of our industry back into here. What's this? Oh, I don't know why it looked like that. Um, but that way we can have a uh, proper grazing area. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.